a lovely Koroks and a Korok for us. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful, and the Koroks are also absolutely adorable. <laughs> Salutations, everybody. Welcome to a random episode of Breath of the Wild. Today, we are actually going to go and do some material hunting, and probably just hunting in general, because I want to do some cooking. Also, since we picked up the ladle, I don't know why there's actually a ladle in here. Is as far as I know of, Hetsu's the only one that actually has an item in his hands. It's like, bruh, have they been, you know, holding that ladle for somebody like Link to come along? Because obviously they were waiting for Link to pull out the Master Sword, so they knew that somebody was eventually going to wander in here. But oh, I am so sorry, dude. I did not mean to uh, drop your little, or not drop it, even drop it or pick it up. <laughs> I didn't mean to just like crush your little like, your acorn pots. Don't actually know what the pots are made out of. Like, are they actually acorns, or are they maybe made out of clay? What do you guys think? What are they made out of? Also, speaking of Hetsu, we're actually going to pay him a visit and just upgrade one thing. I don't know what we're going to upgrade, though. Let's see here. Let's upgrade the bows, because why not? I really like the way the bows look in this game. Plus, if I can get, like, five bowls of light or whatever it's called, that would be fantastic. And look at this dude shuffling around. <laughs> Oh yeah, and since it's now Monday, happy Thanksgiving to uh, all your fellow Canadians and other people who may just want to hear a happy Thanksgiving. Hope everybody's doing well today, and sadly we don't have enough to upgrade, but thank you very much, Hetsu. I love you very much. You're absolutely adorable. But now over to Thena Mountain, I believe is what it's called. I don't actually... Remember, because it's been a long time since I played this game in English, but we're going to start off over here because A, there's two Koroks that I haven't actually gotten, so as we're going around hunting and probably, you know, fighting enemies and stuff like that, we may as well go ahead and grab them because I actually have an interactive map up just for this little corner over here, and I believe they're somewhere around here. So we do that, and... Of course, there's a Lionel over there, which I don't think we're actually going to try to fight because it's not really doing anything to us. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, you are just going to uh, get away from that then because I don't want to, uh, you know, bother the Lionel. Also, I would love to hear more music in this game, but at the same time, having the ambience just like in this area it just sounds so beautiful. It's something that we probably easily miss. I don't really say would miss that much, but still. I tried to hit the head, I don't know why I decided to go all the long way around. But also, speaking of music, I'm really excited about, you know, Tears of Kingdom or Breath of the Wild 2, whichever one you will actually be referring the game to. So I'm sure most people are just gonna be like, nope, we're still calling it Breath of the Wild 2. I'm hoping that they'll have more music in there. Oh, hello, Stuffles, I didn't even realize it was night time. Just perfect cut right there. <laughs> and now, hopefully, we'll be able to uh, hit you. Okay, dude, you're gonna hit me that, that close. I'm gonna hit you as well because, bruh. <laughs> oh, now you take it to head back, which means I'll probably not shoot it off again. But do it, it's fine. I love how they just like, yeah, we hit this. And now, yeah, they're, they're gone. I guess that's what you get, little dudes. So, why am I not using the ladle for a weapon. <laughs> we don't need to use it. I just really want to use it. <laughs> oh, they all went frozen just before I was able to actually grab them. That sucks. <laughs> but you know what? It's just a part of it. Now I believe the quark is somewhere around here. Yes. It's a little uh, circle stuff. I also forgot that there's actually three lionels around this area. It's like, why is there so many areas? But also, why do so many Koroks love these little puzzles which you need to just put like a rock in between, like a circle or a triangle or something like that. But there we go. Another Korok done. Thank you very much, my dear little friend. You are absolutely adorable. But now we will go back to doing our hunting. <laughs> oh, and we're back at the stables because I wanted to say hello to Beetle. And I love how there's just hot peppers right out here. It's amazing how those are just like, yep, we here now. And Beetle's sleeping, which means... We may as well just sleep until morning. Apparently, we're just going to talk to some random NPC, which wasn't even the person I wanted to talk to. 
but we'll wait until morning because I want to talk to Beetle. And of course, he sees a beetle that's in my inventory, so we'll give it to him, which will give us some defense up. Sweet. Thanks, beetle. Now we would like to buy some stuff from you, because anytime I can just buy stuff from beetle, I'll just do that. And I bought everything from beetle, and now we're just going to be riding on a pona, because, well, we are here anyways, and we may as well just, you know, have some speed which to help us try to find a bunch of, you know, Birds and stuff like that. Speaking of birds, there's one right there. Although that being said, I think your opponent's going to be a little bit too fast for this. So we'll probably put her back. And so, of course, there's some wolfies, which we won't worry about. And bullet time, even though that's not really necessary, but we'll still use it anyways. And hopefully we can actually get to this meat before it freezes. And good, we did this time. Sweet. And yes, we do have a pona, because... Uh, why not? I have new amiibo cards for them. May as well use them now. We're just gonna put her back because I think she's actually gonna be a little bit too quick. <laughs> Which normally isn't an issue, but in our case, I think you would just be kind of awkward. And also, yes, we're back on this island over here because why not just go and get some fish over here? As long as we get to steer the right direction, that would be really funny, but also really sad at the same time for the poor little fish. If we ended up actually, like, eating them. It's too bad we can't just dive down there. That being said, I just noticed that there's a chest over there. So let's see if we can actually get that, or if we're going to be too far away to be able to grab it. Which, yes, that is the case. It's kind of interesting how this ice just kind of floats. Which, I mean, it makes sense, because it's ice. But it looks like it would be really heavy, though, and I know ice sometimes just drops down to the bottom. And okay, 50 rupees right there. I was just going to try to dive down, but apparently, uh... Link had <laughs> had some other plans. He's like, no, I'm good. But now we're gonna go hunt for some crabs over here. Which is the reason why I came over here. Come back here, crabs. <laughs> so love crabs so much. They're so cute, but they're also really feisty at the same time. Oh yeah, there's also these things that we can grab. Ooh, it is raining. So we're gonna have to deal with some enemies if they appear here. That would usually not disappear. I also want to go after some beetles, which wouldn't even be here because A, it's daytime, but also B, it's raining. I don't know why you just went over there. I guess it's just habit from being in this area. But also something kind of random, aside from seeing that floating Octorok. Thank you, buddy, for showing that you are right there. <laughs> I love that so much. I love how this little Korok's right here. Yes. Jen, my dear friend, Jen. But, um, anyways, there's a little stink bug outside of my room. There's this little dude. Why am I not putting on something that could actually make us a little bit faster? Because I was gonna th be going into the water. Oh, that's not the least. Although, that being said, it won't make us many much faster here, but it'll at least make us a little faster. Yes, you run, dude. You run. Now I don't really know where to go, but we're gonna go elsewhere. We're gonna go in the forest. Because forests usually have lots of mushrooms in them. I also love how, you know, Bokomoons and stuff will just have conversations with each other. So hello little butterfly. Didn't actually mean to I would attack you, but it just kind of ended up doing that. And yes, we will probably do some fighting because, well, some materials that we could probably make some monster food with. Oh, and that dude has decided to drop off, even though it could have. After a while. <laughs> take that, my mighty little spoon. Now I will take your club. Which also somewhat works with this episode, because it looks like a giant drumstick. <laughs> and I find that really funny. <laughs> I don't know why I find it so funny. But anyways, back to the topic of stink bug. The reason why I was min mentioning that is because I was just looking outside the window. I was like, oh, hello. The little thing. So it was bright not too long ago, and it was just very obvious that it's like right there. And see, those are boars, which we will also go and attack, because it gives us some meat. And good, there are some mushrooms. And yes, I do feel bad for finding some of these boars, but at the same time, I know that they'll actually attack back. <laughs> but at least they're not like the ones from over here in Valheim, which they'll just attack and attack and attack. All these ones are just like, yo... Back up. We don't want to, like, attack you. 
But we also don't like you very much. We're also thinking back to that stink bug again. Do you guys like bugs? Do you guys like stink bugs? I know not everybody likes or dislikes bugs. But I know a lot of people are kind of creeped out about them. And okay, it looks like we're going to go into this one. The reason being is because I see that massive roast right there. I just kind of want to snag it. So let's see if we can snipe this dude from here. I think we're a little bit too far away. No, nope, we are not too far away. But my hands are a bit shaky, so the gyro controls are doing their best. And see if we can get the other guys. Let's get this thing close first. Hello. Thanks for the apples. Oh, okay. We got those guys. That's right. I'm shooting you guys from far. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. That's what it is. Okay, yeah, you're going to come towards me. You're going to do that. But you know what? I also have bombs that I can give you guys. Oh, okay. As I missed there. But it did hit the tree at least, so there's that. Let's see if I can actually dodge out of the way. You know what? This time, I actually am going to switch items because it's going to be better off using something else. I love how that dude literally just went on fire. He didn't even go on fire. His weapon just went on fire. <laughs> and now we are both on fire, but you know what? That's okay. So we got this <laughs> job done, but not quite because we got this dude. And I could have parried in the air. And wow, okay, we could have gotten this done a lot sooner than we actually did. Okay, I was going to say, I wonder if that dude's actually still trying to attack us. Which he is, and that makes total sense. Now we will take this gigantic meat, which makes me think of Twilight Princess because of the uh, uh, the camp for the Bokoblins. Or Bokobobins? I don't actually remember what they called the end Twilight Princess, which is kind of sad. But that's okay, I remember the giant Moblin dude, which I like. Now we're just going over here because I see the fire. I'm curious to see what is actually here. Why this little thing is on fire. Like, is it a torch? And, oh, yeah, okay, it's just a, a random fire. Oh, that's right. This is where, uh, I'm pretty sure this is one of the areas where the NPC is here. No, that's another one. But we are going to, uh, to hit you down, though. We are going to go over here. There is explosives down there, which means we're going to be careful. Yes, hello, little dudes. How are you doing? We're just going to stick you down as you come pouring towards us. And we didn't even need to shoot that dude point blank. I just felt like doing that because why not? But now we are going to get whatever's in this chest, which I have a feeling is going to be a weapon. But if it's not, it's fine. But we're going to do that. Apparently there's a shrine somewhere around here, so I'm actually going to... Uh, Start this down so I don't forget. Open this, go to a town, and just start doing some cooking. Because why not? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute. I actually didn't really see him when I was running because he blended in so well. And I just saw this like little stick walking around. I was like, what is that? Oh, it's the Korok. And yes, we are going back here to do our cooking. Because, uh, you know, why not? Okay, here we go. Let's do one little thing of cooking. We don't have any milk, so we don't have any bonding agencies to make any, like, cake or anything. But, hey, we made that. That wasn't even a monster thing. And apparently we're just going to eat some fruit. Which I just meant to throw down a bunch of fruit. <laughs> but that works. And this makes us some bunch of fruits. I'm really hoping that we'll be able to get, like, a, um... I don't remember if it's, like, a critical one. I don't actually know what it's actually called. Let's try not to eat this one. Let's make a giant skewer so we can sell this or just use it for lots of health. But this is so cute. I love how happy Link just looks when he does this. And I love how that Korok is just sleeping in the background. Like, yes, you do that, sir. You need your rest very much. <laughs> Everybody needs sleep, actually. All of you guys have been sleeping well. There we go. Now we're going to cook two more things. I don't know what we're going to cook, but let's just cook a bunch of these and throw in some herbs. Because why the heck not? Okay. And let's see what this makes. It should make a little salad. It does. Sweet. It makes herb salad, if I remember correctly. And now let's cook a bunch of fish and a little bit of crab. And let's see what this will make. I'm pretty sure this will just make a, a sea skewer, if I remember correctly. And, oh, this fish skewer, even though there's one crab mixed in there. But, oh well. 
Anyways, before we leave off, actually one more because I'm going to ask you guys a question. Because I had to cut a few times because the dogs were getting up and down. Plus, <laughs> it was at some point I was just trying to cook and I accidentally dropped it outside the pot. And then Link attacked the food for whatever reason. It was beautiful. But anyways, do you guys like cooking in Breath of the Wild? Because for me it's one of those things that I've been really fun to do. It's really enjoyable. But I know not everybody does a bunch of cooking. Let's do this and it should make some kind of desserts. I know that you don't always need to use like milk and stuff for it to make cake. And it just made another omelette. Okay. Well, I'm going to try something else then. I'm just going to try butter and this and ignore putting the eggs in and see what this will make. I know it won't be as good as it would be adding other stuff. And will it make any kind of dessert? And it doesn't. It just makes dots. Okay, apparently you need to get some milk. But that will be for another time. For another episode, which I'm sure at some point we'll do another cooking episode. But till then, we shall actually leave it here. So... Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up, snatch that subscribe button, say something down in the comments down below, do what you do, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.